Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Scrapologist. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for coming and visiting. And make sure you hit subscribe and the little bell below so that you don't miss any videos. I know that every time I get on camera, I say, I am so excited to show you what I have today. <laughs> I'm, but I'm, I'm, I don't know, I've been on a creative streak lately and coming up with new things and new ideas and trying new things and so I am just on a high in my craft studio and um, I'm super excited about this project. This project was inspired by Amity Bloom. I'm going to put the link down below. She made something called heirloom envelopes and I saw those and I just dropped everything I was doing. I had like seven orders I was supposed to be getting out and I started making these. I was so inspired. I loved her idea and it was very timely because I've been working a ton with tissue paper using digital kits from my shop and I had a whole bunch of this printed and on hand and it fits in perfectly with this project. So this is going to be, I am going to be putting this in my Etsy shop soon. I can't promise exactly when because I'm super, super busy and it takes a while to be able to sit down at the computer, photograph it, get it listed, etc., etc., get it into the shop when I'm trying to get orders out too. So, um, the best thing to do would be to go over to my Etsy shop, the Scrapologist at Etsy, and favorite my shop. And then whenever something new comes in to my shop, you, um, you get a notification. You can also go over to my Facebook page, the Scrapologist, and whenever I put something in my shop, I put a posting there as well. So you should be able to find out when this gets in the shop. I'm I'm thinking by the end of the weekend is what I'm shooting for. So this was my first foray into the boho, what everybody is calling the boho style. I have been wanting to work more and more and more with the tissue paper, like I said, but also starting to incorporate textiles and other, other fun elements, beads and things like that into my projects. I'm not a girly girl, so I've never done really sequins and bling and flowers. I'm more of a tomboy, more vintage, 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 things that, that look old, not, not the shabby chic thing. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. This just this is what I gravitate towards. And so this project kind of combines all of the things that I love into one project. So what this is, is um, this is going to be sold as a kit and it is a series of envelopes and other things that you can put in your um, in your junk journals, you can put in your diary, in your traveler's notebooks, you can use them to journal yourself. I think a really lovely use of these would be if you have any old letters, if you're lucky enough to have old love letters from your grandparents when they were courting or something like that, wouldn't it be nice to store them in, in some beautiful envelopes instead of just in a box or something? Uh, so anyway, lots of uses for this. Use your imagination. There's, there are no boundaries. The first one, um, almost every one of them are embossed. So, this, so there, a, there is a raised relief on each envelope and they're all coffee stained. This one does have a wax stamp on it. You can open it and crack that seal or not. There's nothing inside right now. This is the front and this is the back. So this is a piece of tissue paper from my, um, now I just forgot the letter, the name, Historical Letters and Documents Digital Kit that I printed onto tissue paper. And this is the first one. The second one is this style of envelope. And it has a ruffle on the bottom and a little charm that I looked, I thought looked kind of bohemian. And inside, printed on coffee stained paper, is an actual um, vintage encyclopedia page of Arabia. And you can use this to journal on. 
some of the envelopes do have goodies in them that you can use in your junk journal projects. So there is the front and there is the back. Just love the way these turned out. Here is the next one. There's a little charm hanging off the side, a little quote that's sewn on, more embossing. Actually on this side it's debossed and it's embossed on this side. And this one has some gorgeous trim on the bottom. It reminded me kind of like of a belly dancer's skirt almost. Here's the front, here's the back. Love, I love every one of these. I'm going to have a hard time listing these in my shop because I want to keep them. I can't tell you how fun it is just to, just to touch them and feel the crinkly paper and all the fabrics and everything. They're just so fun. Inside this one are a couple of goodies, a real vintage postcard. I believe this is from around the 1940s or so. It's, um, it is of Faneuil Hall in Boston, but it has, it has some glitter on it. So I thought it kind of looked a little boho and then a little, um, cellophane envelope from Romania from my personal stamp collection. I've been collecting stamps since I was just a little girl and I have a bunch of those. So there's the next one. And they get a little larger as you go up so that they so that they look nice if you want to keep them in a set. They look really super nice. Here's the next one with some fabric, a fabric cluster on it. And here's the back. It's a little plainer. I thought, well, maybe you might want to decorate one of these. Here's the next one. Now this one was kind of fun. My husband has a business called Retro Electrotech and he restores and sells vintage electronics and also typewriters. And so he has a ton of vintage typewriters so I typed this on here myself and I took this name and address from a book from the 1800s that I have on my shelf. So this was a real a real person and then a little fabric cluster up here is sewn onto the envelope. Let me show you the back. It says, may, may my heart be kind, my mind fierce, and my spirit brave. A little bit of gold washi tape there and on the inside of this is a little definition of the word bohemian, just sewn onto some vintage music paper. And then on the inside I have a, something that I cut out of a book. These are actually Italian people, but I really thought this looked like a little gypsy caravan. And so I put that in here for you. And this envelope's really nice because, try to get it in here. There we go. Oh my goodness. This one's really nice because it's open. So anything that you have in here is going to show. It's not, the envelope doesn't go up to here. It's not all hidden. So, okay, here's the next one. This one has a uh, clothespin type pin and I made a boho bead. And there's some trim and ruffle up here just a little piece of scrap paper inside that I thought looked a little bohemian so you can use this for whatever you would like. And the back. Here's the next one. A little bit of copper washi down here, coppery gold front. There's the back. And then I have a little saying sewn onto the flap here. Well, gl no glued onto the flap, but the flap has some stitching around it. And then on the inside are some goodies. 
Here's a little journal card, gypsy love song, some vintage sheet music. And on the back is a, a piece of book paper from the 1800s, so you can use this as a journal card. And then this is something that was really beautiful. It's a book from the 1800s that I have in my personal collection. And I love the way they always put the tracing paper or the tissue paper on top of the images. And I thought that she looked so gypsy-like. Her name is Eugenia. So she's in there for you. And then this one, more, more um, beautiful trim. This is the front. This is the back. And I tore a little hole here and then put some uh, sewing pattern paper over it because I kind of wanted it to look torn, but I didn't want to keep an actual hole in it. So I like the way that, that turned out. And then the last envelope, this is a gold envelope. It came like this. And I covered it in tissue paper from my illuminated calligraphy digital kit with a piece of trim. Left the back kind of gold, but you can really see the debossing on here. There's a little bit of stamping and more trim. And inside is just something that you can use for journaling or to put a photograph on or whatever you would like. A list maybe. So yeah, I like that one. And then the the last thing you get, oh you're also going to get this little this little frame, met, metal frame that I thought looked really boho. Could actually look very nice on here, but you can do whatever you want with it. And the last thing that comes in the kit is going to be one of my little wallpaper books. This is some some wallpaper that I thought really fit the theme very well and it's sewn around the edges and then it has I think I think 40 pages inside. It's sewn down the middle and back stitched at each end so it's super super sturdy and the inside is uh, some paper that I had, some scrapbook paper that I thought looked very boho, very bohemian on the front and back. So you get that little journal in in your kit too. So this is the kit that's going to be going in my shop soon. I hope you love it. I had so much fun making it. Thank you so much, Nazzy, for inspiring us with your heirloom envelopes I just uh, I'm not gonna stop making these now I just think that they're absolutely gorgeous so fun to make they do kind of they are very time-consuming I'm not gonna lie they take they take a lot of um, product and materials you have to have a lot of things on hand but once you get organized and get going it's super fun and imaginative and I just love watching her videos so thank you Nazzy from Amity Bloom I'll put the link below and um, keep an eye out on Facebook or Etsy for when these get placed in my shop. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.